morning. So it's a lovely day in Singapore once again. It's a lovely morning with the sun and shining. So I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit more about my dad because uh, last weekend it was really... Um, well, my dad has been sick for a very long time. He has prostate cancer and we discovered it I think about seven years ago. So since then, you know, we, he's been on different types of uh, treatments, medications, and we've always thought, you know, we've always been thinking, I guess, we've always been thinking about, you know, this time when, um, when he gets really weak, but not really thinking through when that day is. I'm not sure if you understand that. Mm. So I I actually saw him uh, go through all kinds of uh, the, the different ups and downs. You know, the in the beginning it was all all right. Uh, after his treatment, he it he got better. But then after that, uh, the cancer relapsed came back and then you know uh, the doctor would uh, recommend another kind of treatment we even he even went on uh, like a really expensive pill that is supposed to treat the cancer but I guess you know at some point uh, we have exhausted all treatments and now it's uh, it's more about uh, making him comfortable. So up until last week, uh, he was still up and about. Uh, although he has, you know, really horrible pains that would just attack um, at night or, I guess, you know, suddenly during the day. Um, yeah. So up until last week, he was, I would say, uh, still okay. He can still walk even though uh, he has a walking stick uh, and then we got him a wheelchair as well but last week it was it was like really fast and it went downhill in that you know he, he has pain for like almost every minute and we just had to treat his pain through morphine and uh, other pain medication so that was last weekend and I, don't, I am not too sure what will happen next, but for this week, we are going to closely monitor him, maybe get help from uh, the hospice caregivers uh, to see what they can do to help us uh, have somebody on, on call or visit us more regularly because my mom is really, um, you know, she, she's really drained a lot of her energy uh, tending to my dad on a daily basis and my brother my brother has been a real help uh, and he's continuing to help you know because he's stronger he can lift my dad up when he wants to go to the toilet and things like that so for me I am uh, since I'm working right now I'm trying to make time and then every evening I'll, I'll just drop by and then to see what they need run some errands and so I think that that's our arrangement and, or that's what we're planning. The roads are a little jammed up right now. So I've been thinking about how should I deal with the situation with my dad on the vlogs. And then I've decided that, you know, uh, if I'm going to vlog my daily life, it's not all going to be a bed of roses. And, you know, I've got to just be real and to just share with you guys, you know, if it's safe to share, if it's about me, and if it's something that I find useful for you guys, I will vlog it. So, I'll vlog you know, things that happen to me on a personal level, I'll vlog what I feel, things like that, but I will not vlog um, anything that 
would uh, be in conflict and would and if it would um, you know violate any privacy issues so for example I will not blog about my work or my work stuff and uh, if people choose to not appear on the vlogs I will respect that as well all right and so for 2016 this is my commitment to myself and to you guys as well is that I will vlog every single day and I will be more open to share um, you know my moments with you yeah hope you enjoy it so I've just arrived at the office and as usual there is a long line to the car park yeah I'm trying to think of what is the best time to arrive at the office because it takes me about an hour to reach here well 45 minutes to an hour so I just want to make sure that you know I don't waste too much time in the commute on traffic and you know the line to the car park as well so I think if I leave home at 8 30 I think that would be the ideal time so I think I'm gonna set that for 2016 check it out I got some blue tech type stuff to put at the bottom so right now he's staying put <laughs> Guys, I've just discovered a little dent on my MacBook. I'm not too sure how it got there. But if you can take a look here, you can see that there's a little dent over here. just experienced something completely ridiculous I'm trying to top up my cash card and two machines just don't work the first one is the top up machine it says car park not found and then the other one is my ATM and it says cash card service not provided oh. and good thing I have the I have enough uh, funds in my cash card and on I cannot get out of the car park anyway I'm headed off to my mom's place right now uh, I've got some stuff for them and I, I got a chicken so well it's like a barbecue chicken I think I'm not so sure This, this is sinful, sinful chocolate and pandan cake. Lynn at my parents' place. Now I'm gonna drink some coconut water. <laughs> we make a new drink. brother it seems that my dad's pain is uh, not too bad today not so bad not so intense as uh, the weekend the last weekend so that's great I mean at this point we are you know monitoring and just making sure that he's comfortable and that you know these days days like this when it is uh, contained when the pain is contained and manageable those will be I would say those are good days. So today's a good day. Well, and then the only concern is that, you know, at night, if his pain flares up at night, then it would be really difficult. Um, yeah. So let's hope we, it does not happen. Something exciting delivered today. It's the 32 inch LED TV from Sharp. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is that I want to hook this up in the room so we can play 
our Nintendo Wii U and yeah probably hook up the Apple TV as well hey check it out I've installed my TV and now I'm uh, I've hooked it up to the Apple TV and then it's playing YouTube right now hey uh, I'm back home so I've hooked up the TV hooked it up to the Apple TV and I'm enjoying some apps on the Apple TV namely YouTube, Netflix, you know, the usual so that's great um, and today a piece of sad news around the world and that is the death of David Bowie he passed away on January 10th um, so rest in peace David Bowie my memory of David Bowie growing up was the, you remember the movie Labyrinth? Yep, so I was really fascinated by that movie uh, because it has that eerie yet uh, fascinating and enchanting story to it. So I like these kinds of movies and plots and storyline. So that movie was uh, really when I remember David Bowie very well. He, he played one of the evil characters in the show. And then there was another uh, series that came up. It's called Life on Mars, which I really liked. And I think the, se the series was uh, cancelled. But, you know, when it was airing, it was the st I, l I really liked that story. And then they played the song by David Bowie, Life on Mars, during the series as one of the theme songs. And so that was another memory of David Bowie's songs that I really, really like. He definitely contributed a lot to the world. And I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, David Bowie, for giving us your music, giving us your life with all the memories of your music and your legacy and yeah your music and your music and songs will live on so in honor of David Bowie my quote tonight is from him so he said I don't know where I'm going from here but I promise it won't be boring. So, goodbye David Bowie, rest in peace. And with that, I'll say my goodbye as well, and I'll see you tomorrow.